Hey there, smart shoppers. Welcome back to Buy Smart, the channel where we do the hard work so you don't have to. Today, we're diving into the world of 3D printing with two titans of the trade, the Comgro Ender 3 and the Anycubic Cobra 2 Neo. Buckle up, because this is going to be a wild ride. Let's kick things off with the most crucial factor, the one that dictates whether you'll be eating ramen for the next month. Yes, you guessed it, the price. Comgro Ender 3 comes in at $232. Not too shabby, right? But wait, the Anycubic Cobra 2 Neo is just $239. That's like skipping one coffee a week. So it's a close call, but the Cobra 2 Neo is just a smidgen pricier. Let's see if it's worth those extra bucks. Next up, speed. The Ender 3 is solid, but the Cobra 2 Neo claims to be five times faster. That's like comparing a tortoise to a caffeinated cheetah. With a max print speed of 250 millimeters per second, the Cobra 2 Neo is basically the Usain Bolt of 3D printers. If you're in a hurry, this could be your new best friend. Reviewers have praised the Cobra 2 Neo for its impressive speed, while the Ender 3 is noted for being reliable, but not as quick. Now, let's talk extruders. The Ender 3 boasts an advanced extruder that reduces plugging and bad extrusion. Think of it like a dependable old friend who always shows up on time. But the Cobra 2 Neo comes in with a new integrated extruder and a 7,000 revolutions per minute cooling fan. It's like bringing a flamethrower and a wind tunnel to a snowball fight. Fancy, but maybe a bit overkill? Reviewers appreciate the reliability of the Ender 3's extruder, while the Cobra 2 Neo's advanced tech is noted for its efficiency and innovation. Assembly time. The Ender 3 promises an easy and quick assembly in just about two hours. That's faster than assembling IKEA furniture, folks. On the flip side, the Cobra 2 Neo doesn't brag about assembly time, so get in super easy, or they're hiding something. Who knows, maybe you'll need an engineering degree. Your call! Many reviewers have found the Ender 3 straightforward to assemble, while the Cobra 2 Neo has mixed reviews regarding its assembly process. Auto leveling. Because who has time for manual leveling? The Ender 3 doesn't come with auto leveling out of the box, so you might need to do a bit of tinkering. But the Cobra 2 Neo flaunts its Levi Q 2.0 automatic leveling. It's like having a personal butler who ensures everything is perfectly balanced. Fancy, right? Reviewers love the auto leveling feature of the Cobra 2 Neo, while Ender 3 users often add this feature later. And finally, customer service. The Ender 3 offers lifetime technical support, which is like having a tech-savvy guardian angel. The Cobra 2 Neo, on the other hand, gives you a one-year service with specific coverage for the print head and heated bed. So if you're the kind of person who breaks stuff regularly, you might want to consider this. Reviewers have mixed feelings about Anycubic's customer service, while Comgro's support is generally well-received. Reviewers generally find the Comgro Ender 3 to be a reliable and budget-friendly option, especially for beginners willing to tinker and make some upgrades. On the other hand, the Anycubic Cobra 2 Neo is praised for its speed and advanced features, though some users have experienced issues requiring customer service. Both printers have their strengths and cater to different needs and preferences. So there you have it, folks. The Comgro Ender 3. Reliable, budget-friendly, and a bit of a DIY project. And the Anycubic Cobra 2 Neo. Speedy, feature-packed, and ready to rock your 3D printing world. Which one will you choose? The Steady Tortoise or the Caffeinated Cheetah? Let us know in the comments below.
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our smart buying tips. Until next time, stay smart and happy printing. Product links are in the description.